She's totally gonna flunk us. I haven't gotten an F since I failed recess in second grade. Teachers need a break too, Amy. You wanted to see me, Captain? My husband's dog, Cheddar, had relations with a neighbor dog, Karate, and produced these two smaller dogs. He insisted that I find them a good home with someone we trust. You can trust me. Dogs are my whole life. Also work. Doing work and hanging with dogs. That's my lifestyle. <laughs> You're allergic to dogs, aren't you? Nope. I just need an EpiPen because my happiness is making my throat close up. Hand me the small dog, Santiago. <laughs> Two bottles of vodka. Is this gonna be the weekend we finally meet Six Drink Amy? Six Drink Amy? What does that mean? It's the pinnacle of the Santiago drunkenness scale. One drink, Amy's <laughs> a little spacey. Wait, what? Two drinks, loud Amy. You wanna get a cab? Three drinks, Amy dance pants. Four drink Amy is a bit of a pervert. Hey, check it out. And five drink Amy is weirdly confident. Let's do this, little man. But I've never seen six drink Amy. Maybe she's the one I could actually be friends with, AKA my Sasquatch. Good plan. An 80 minute walk on the beach. Mm. I'm so cold. Even my fiery dance moves aren't keeping me warm. The trick is, you gotta be prepared. Mini cognac, lady. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, warm me up, you little bastard. Mm. More drinks. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Terry's Fanny. And thank you, Poseidon, great god of the sea! What are you wearing? T-shirt. I only brought a bikini. It seems weird to be in front of the captain in a bathing suit. Gotta cover up them fangs, yeah? FYI, you can still see them through your shirt. So, here we go. That's a nice lamb job. This one goes on the blog. <clears throat> hey, Sarge! What up, bro? What up, bro? bang a -ring. Name, same names. Hmm? You don't want to be around Holt in your current state. Say hello to the most confident woman alive. Gah. Drink number five. You are a true friend and a hot little piece. Goodbye, four drink, Amy. Sloppy sicko. I love paperwork, but this is crazy. There isn't even time to savor it. Charles, you're going so fast. I don't have a choice. We can't let this place fill up with perps. Yeah, but you're gonna cramp. <laughs> you kidding, baby? I've been cramping for the past 20 minutes. I'm so attracted to you right now. What? Uh, nothing. I'm gonna go over to there now. Jay, what's going on? Why is Amy's hair like that? Oh, she obsessively braids her hair when she's nervous, and she's super nervous because she's taking the sergeant's exam today. But Amy loves tests. Not this one. It's always been her plan to be the youngest captain in the history of the NYPD, but if she doesn't pass this exam, she's gonna have to wait another three years to take it again, and that'll disrupt her entire life calendar. Is that a real thing? It hangs over her bed. So she's stress braiding. Big deal. It's like a one on the Santiago panic scale. Yeah, but we've also jumped up to level two. Creepily singing songs from the Great American Songbook. You're a grand old flag, you're a high-flying flag. So, yeah, it's a little tough right now, but I think the worst is behind us. Why are you taking so long to cook my frickin' oatmeal? Yep. Yikes. Where's Teddy? He's in the shower. I said hi to him, we chatted for like a minute, and I almost blew it. Oh, I'm sure you're overstating that. He said he was really looking forward to a romantic evening, and I panicked and yelled, LOL. Okay, we have got to explain this thing to Captain Holt to save their relationship. And you laughed at me when I went to that weekend-long math conference. Because you called it Funky Cats and their feisty stats. That was the name! It was so cool! It was not. Anyway, it's not about the math. They haven't seen each other because of the night shift. They just need a bone. What? Gross! Rosa, those are our dads! I mean, <laughs> that's not what I think. Captain Dad is just my boss. Wow. Never mind, I'm teaching Father the math! Whatever, Rosa! Who's ready for some non-stop, totally scheduled fun? Oh, 
I actually thought we could just sit by the pool, eat unlimited shrimp, and see what it does to our bodies. That's cute. I don't know if there's gonna be time, though. The cruise offers 77 activities, and I signed us up for 76 of them. Speed dating for widows seemed like a bummer. Okay. It's time. For what, Detective Santiago? You, to give me a promotion and a 40% raise. I've been carrying the squad for two years, and my back's getting tired. Yeah, excuse me, Captain. Hey, Amy, can I talk to you for one second? Uh, you just did. Burn. Ah, so good. So listen, I don't think overconfident Amy is working out. Maybe you should go back downstairs. Mm, maybe I should just have another drink. Get ready, America. Here comes six. Oh, okay, what? that's... Santiago, I'm on the phone. Triple break! I'm so sorry, sir. I can come back later. No, it's too late. The call is ruined. Goodbye, dear. What do you want? Well, since there's a good chance that things are coming to an end, I just wanted to say thank you for everything that you've taught me. I know you may not see yourself as my mentor, but... Of course I do. I've been mentoring you all this time. This is day 1,282 of a nine-year mentorship I had mapped out for you. Under ordinary circumstances, I wouldn't reveal this to you until day 3,300. It was real. There was a binder. Not anymore. No! You can still mentor me if we don't work together. We could meet for breakfast every day. You could teach me over eggs. Eggs for breakfast. Further behind than I thought. Ah! No, look, okay, there are 10 hours left, sir. If you talk fast enough, you can teach me everything. Interesting. Okay. You have to take notes. Do you think you can keep up? Let's just say I was president of the stenographer's club in high school for a reason. Was the reason because you were the only member? Yes. Six drink, Amy. So alone. Oh, no. Six drink, Amy isn't fun. She's just sad. Damn it. Get hold to pay attention to me. She sure spends a lot of time on Peralta. Maybe I should start screwing up like Jake does. I can act out too, you know. Please do. Okay. Watch this. I don't understand what is happening. Allow me to explain. Amy and I were ahead of you the whole time. <laughs> no. You weren't part of this. Get back over to the loser side, loser. All right, worth a shot. So how'd you pull it off? Well, it all started when I went to tell Jake how badly he hurt my feelings, and he yelled at my breasts. Oh, boy. I am not going to come off well in this story. Nope. Remember when you set off the witch? <laughs> it made Captain Holt flinch, which was weird since his door was closed, but not weird since he actually heard it over a bug he planted at your desk. It was in an old muffin that you never threw in the trash. That's why people throw away garbage. How are we together? <laughs> anyway, I tapped into the bug's frequency, so I had ears on Jake. I needed to know what Holt was up to. That's where Hitchcock came in. I masterminded the entire plan. You did one small thing, and I had to explain it to you like 45 times. He left a tiny crack in the blind so I could read the captain's lips. Sharon and your kids will distract Jake. They'll be here at 9.30 sharp. My waffle xylophone on the cheese man. What? My lip reading is not flawless. Now that I knew your plan, it was simple to disrupt. While Scully gracefully moved the witch, I got into character. Holt triggered the witch, which brought Jake into the room. And I threw the crown in the trash can. Exactly as I planned. Then I sent you all here, placed an out of order sign on the perfectly functional elevator, made you all walk up 31 flights of stairs and vomit twice. Actually, it was four times if you count all the stairwell stuff. You thought I was just Holt's lackey. And you thought I was just Jake's girlfriend. Well, I'm my own person, capable of making my own decisions. And I decided to humiliate you both. Well, you did. And it was awesome. One last question, where's the crown? Oh, it's at Shaw's Bar, the official site of my coronation. All hail the crown of destiny. <laughs> and all hail she who wears it, Amy Santiago, the Queen. Queen of the Nine Nine. I believe there's something else you both need to say. Gladly. Amy, Amy Santiago, Santiago is an amazing detective slash genius. <laughs>